Hello friends, welcome to Laptex. My name is Nasser. Along with me, Dildar sir is here. Uh, today we have a case study of uh, Lenovo 330S and uh, very typical problem I have received that laptop turns on but uh, not proper. Let me show you that what is the condition and uh, let us have a look that uh, this is the model number uh, 330S hyphen KBL that is the Kaby Lake processor and uh, the processor inside this uh, model comes uh, with i5 8th generation as you type uh, the processor number you, SR number you will get that uh, it is the i5 8th generation. Let me show you. So, this is the name of the processor and uh, you can see that i5 8th generation and uh, you just do not care about the generation you see the problem and uh, you just find that uh, what is uh, behind the logic and uh, if you follow the logic inshallah you will successfully repair this types of problem. Now let me show you. I have managed to fix the RTC so that I will show you that how you can uh, troubleshoot these types of problem. The problem inside this as soon as I turn on you see the light turns on here as well as you will see the light is present on the motherboard. But ampere if you pay attention on the ampere you will see that uh, what is the changes you can easily feel. Now let me turn on nothing happens uh, contrarily it goes down. So what does it indicate that uh, something is happening in the motherboard but uh, it is not proper turning on. And uh, let us talk about the architecture of this motherboard what is the architecture in this motherboard that uh, 3.3 and 5 volt and so on voltages are not always. The architecture as uh, earlier we have uh, discussed in the our YouTube channel this the same model I have uploaded if you have not seen that video go in the uh, below description link and uh, find out the same architecture we have uploaded that was the different problem and this is the different problem. In this model you can see that uh, as soon as I uh, plug in we are not getting 3.3 and 5 volt uh, voltage on the coil. However, we have discussed earlier that uh, K4, 5 and K6 IC are used and where uh, one of them are not having LDO voltage and uh, the other is having LDO for 3.3 and 5 volt. So, we, we have discussed a lot in previous video. So, we will not discuss uh, here now only we will discuss about this particular case you can receive this types of case and you really ha feel hard to handle this types of problem because uh, as you can see that somebody has uh, changed the RAM IC and uh, the new uh, type of RAM IC has come and uh, no RAM voltage, no VPP voltage is generated. So, this types of problem you can get. So, now let us begin from the 19 volt. Here is the 19 volt. Now, you see uh, 19.34 volt I am getting however, I am injecting the very same voltage 19.34 voltage is on my DC jack as well as in, in, in my motherboard. So, we can say on this ground that uh, our uh, charging IC is behaving perfectly fine just because it is uh, there is the BQ. So, in this motherboard BQ24780 S IC is used this uh, particular IC generates uh, AC drive and that uh, that comes on this particular place this is the area of the charging IC DC in area DC jack is here but DC in area is located here 19 volt is perfectly fine there is a no problem at all so let me put the ground so 19 volt is perfectly fine now let's see what happened when I turn on the motherboard? So, do we get voltage? Now, let us see we are getting 5 volt. So, let us turn off. So, in this case we can say that our 3.3 and 5 volt and uh, so on the standby voltages are not always. Now, you can see I switched off the, the motherboard and uh, we are not getting voltage. As soon as I turn on, so we get 5 volt, we get 3.3 volt and uh, uh, moreover uh, now I need to check uh, 1.8 uh, volt and 1 volt. 
so how the sequence uh, you have to follow in the later generation motherboard if you want to know about these things uh, you will have to attend our video class so we have uh, given the all details on, on the youtube as well as on the whatsapp and facebook if you have any queries any doubtful any uh, question you can ask in the given number and uh, you can get the details now i need to check here 1.8 volt so i have to check here after turning it on let me switch it on so as soon as i switch here this is the feedback and this is the output voltage so here 1.8 volt as uh, usually we find in the latest generation motherboard all these standby voltages are always but in this 330s model we are having suspend voltage after turning on the laptop you will get these types of voltage now 1.8 volt is okay now after 1.8 volt our target area would be 1 volt so this is the 1 volt regulator okay as per the schematic if you follow the schematic you will come to know this is the 1 volt regulator and uh, here we are also getting the 1 volt and uh, one number pin is the power good let me check the power good one number pin i am checking this is the one number pin power good you can see one volt power good is also fine now it is turned off let me turn on once again so this is the switch let me turn on one volt is generated and due to that if everything is fine the one volt regulator will, will open drain for a power good and then you are getting the 3.3 volt on the pin number one so each and everything is fine despite the condition and the scenario as you have seen that uh, it is turning on still it is turned on and uh, but there is a no load no other voltages let me show you this is the my ram supply let's have a look here see board is on now you can see the switch this is on but despite we are not having ram voltage if you talk about s4 voltage so this is the signal this is the signal which is going on this uh, vpp volt uh, generator volt uh, regulator and uh, from this pin the s4 is connected to the six number pin of this regulator and now let's come and check six number pin here is the six number slp s4 so no slp s4 present in this motherboard so if you find uh, this types of problem you have to comment on the comment box you might be confronting this types of problem so here is the new controller ic as you can see that kb9028 the most updated of the ene ic is 28 uh, after the 222 it has come and uh, the criteria are almost same as uh, used to be in KB9012 and KB9022 uh, the same has come 9028 but the requirement as far as the requirement is concerned if uh, I would like to show you uh, in the diagram as I write here 9028 so you will reach here this is the controller IO the basic requirement what should i check here you have to tell me like reset is present without glitch and uh, most of the things which is required in order to generate uh, slp s4 like power button odd i have checked it has the uh, 10 millisecond debounce logic as well each and everything is present here but despite uh, no response from the pch then you have to tell me that uh, few receive these types of like let me uh, show you one one signal here is uh, 19 number pin the power button art which is going to wake up this is the wake up signal for the pch and uh, it will wake up and the wake up will be responsed by uh, pch through the debounce logic let me show you 19 number pin how should you check it So let's come and count first pin number 19. So I need a glass. So 
here is the 19 number so let me turn on and you will see on the DSO you have seen this is called 10 millisecond debounce logic if you set it you will find out once again let me switch it off let me turn on one, once again see this is called if I want to stop it here you will see uh, let me remove the cursor from here you will see you can uh, examine uh, this uh, particular signal that uh, what is the condition of this and uh, you can you can understand that uh, what is the behavior of PCH the PCH is uh, responding very well we can say here on this on this particular ground we can say that PCH is responding but the, despite the PCH is not releasing SLP S4 what could be the reason that PCH is not respond, responding SLP S4 you must comment on the comment box. So guys uh, you have seen as I have demonstrated you that uh, almost all the uh, required signal in order to generate the SLP S4 I have checked and I found that each and everything is okay. Now I will try to uh, repair this and inshallah I will repair it without changing the PCH. This is the your homework that uh, you have to tell that uh, if you receive this types of problem that there is a no current load, PCH is not responding SLP S4 then what step you take? You must comment on the comment box. This case study uh, I will make and uh, this will be the paid case study which you can get it by contacting on the given number. If you are required only for the case studies of uh, the latest generation models, we are making it constantly. And uh, if you want to beef up your uh, knowledge, if you want to learn the laptop repairing full concept, then also you can contact on the given number. You better to leave a WhatsApp message so that whenever we will get time, we will respond you as soon as possible. So I hope guys you have liked this video. If uh, you like this video, please hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon button so that you will get notification from our channel side. Okay guys, keep on commenting, keep on loving. Thank you for watching this video.